a go. We're a go. We're a go. A, a go go. We're a go go? Yep. What's that show called? We're a go go. Something a go go? Uh, that's odd. Henshin a go go, right? In Indigo? Indigo. Oh snap, this is the first challenge we're seeing. Instead of warning, a challenge appears. It's a challenge battle. You get hunter coins? Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get this challenge. Beat him in 30 seconds. Too easy. Yep. Oh, so it's like cursed chests in Diablo 3. Yes. Or any challenge in any video game ever. Any. <laughs> Normal. Right? Specifically Diablo here. But just like Diablo. Anyways, this is Eric. Joining me for this episode of Rogue Galaxy playing is Curtis. Yep, that's my name. Are you here, Curtis? I am here. Nice. What's your middle name? Alan. Alan? Nice. Hey, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a pretty my, good one. My, my initial spell, Ka. Ka! Like that? Yep, like, like that. Just like that. Nice. Well, we're playing through Rogue Galaxy. It recently released on the PlayStation 4 as a PS2 classic. Uh, it's got trophies, it's got streaming, obviously. And what else does it have? Screenshots, share play, stuff like that. All right, I'm hitting a cutscene. I like to be quiet during the cutscenes. We'll never get past this. The Burkonkwa must have put it here. Trying to keep people like us out of their village, I'm sure. No ordinary human can move this monstrosity. Well then, how about someone with superhuman strength? <laughs> you see anyone like that around here? It's all right. We'll come back later. Let's find another route. Hmm. So we found this gigantic monstrosity and we can't get past it until we find someone with superhuman strength. Do you have any idea who that would be, Curtis? Keep your guards up, no. everyone. Not at all. I'll take you on. Oh, oh, oh. Do you play so you're playing through this game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you play it with the lock on on? Uh, yeah, I, I think I do. Yeah? Yep, I'm about... I'm probably about two or so hours ahead of you at the moment. Okay. Those guys are no I'm challenge sure at all. I'm playing with lock on. on. So I'm finding the locking on to be not great for battling. Mm -hmm. It takes you getting used to. Yeah, like the locking on sure. and the camera together. Those two things. Yep. Come on, try it. Oh, the shoot. Cloud was something that really, really showed age uh, in the clothing. Yeah. The camera's not great. It's not great. Huh. What, uh. Oh. oh, okay, so here's a question I have for you. Yeah. And I want, I want to phrase it this way Do you think this is true for no games? few games, or most games. Do you know how in music uh, certain artists can cover other artists' songs? Okay. You know, you have, you have like, alright, yeah, it's the same exact song, they just covered it. I'll take you on. Yo, oh yeah, on, they get their, maybe they get their own spin on it or something. Yeah, you got like a little spin, like there's a country version of have another little piece of my heart, or take another little piece of my heart that recently came out. Wagon Wheel was big, even though Darius Rucker sometimes, wasn't the first guy to sing it. Sometimes you can hear acoustic there. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. You can hear acoustic channel on the radio station. And like, yeah, here's the acoustic version of that popular song right now. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, and yeah, yeah, like John Mayer covered XOXO, and that got pretty popular and uh, free-fallen. 
Anyways, so oh, covering man, songs is a nice. thing that people do in music. Yeah. Yep. Does that happen in video games? Do people cover each Come other's on, games? Because it's it's not really looked down upon. I'm pretty sure it's not looked down upon in music. Yeah. Like Bob Dylan said that Jimi Hendrix version of All Along the Watchtowers is the best version of that song. Yeah. Even though he wrote that song. Well, and it's cool because like, especially if it's, a, an art, if it's an artist who's you know well like and they have their own like their own style that's significantly different than everyone else's. Sure. And it's cool to have that, right? It, it, I can see it being like, yeah, it, Where do we it's start just interesting. Because it, it, it's, it's always cool to see, like, what's that person's take on this? Right. You know, like, um, which is what? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that there's like, oh, I think of, you think I'm gonna go easy? Please? Any game that does that? Head. Yeah, I don't have to Right. You know, every game is a rogue light nowadays. You're gonna you're gonna see something in Rogue Galaxy. Oh, so like Zelda. That's how you get it. Oh, okay. And it, it like but it was I, clearly taken from Ocarina of Time. Have trouble getting through well, maybe not Ocarina of Time, but I think Zelda specifically. Okay. Yeah. Um Nothing but tough guys, so I think huh? Like that, but this actually brings me back to a thought I had a couple years ago, and it's something that I would still be interested in. Mm -hmm. Is uh, this is to stay on the Nintendo train? I think it would be really cool. And uh, the, granted, I don't have a great knowledge of how mm -hmm. Nintendo's development is set up between different teams. Mm -hmm. But I think it would be super cool mm -hmm. if the Zelda team made a Mario game. Okay. Or if or vice versa. The Mario, or vice versa. What do you think you're doing? Uh, with, the, with the thought of like, and again, I don't know. Whoa, this could be way off base. I don't know sec. how it's set up. But I, I'd like that. the concept. So or, or or even the person. I would I like the you know, pot numbers like the ET ads in these days. Like, oh, human I want to see pot numbers like this game. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. I want to meet Felia. Yeah. Follow me. Who is this? This dude's kind of creepy and, and really weird. He's got a hut. So Sorry, you were saying... No, uh, no. Um, this place is Zelda I, I, team I making a Mario know. game or vice versa. Right. So or just, or just in general, I, I like the idea of a developer like giving a developer... It's not like with Slide Force, right? Mm -hmm. it's you got um, Stanzaro games. It's like, yeah, like here they are making these slides. You can see. Now that's very... Unfortunately, it's strictly to, like, forbidden in that village. That's maybe a different thing, but I like the idea of, ha of handing They're a really well-known fashion franchise, huh? even just one entry over to another the villagers, I like mean. a big fan of it or so bound yeah. by their rules they never even glance I think at anything new you get a fresh that's why this planet look is so at that franchise from new eyes um, I mean, it, it, it can be kind of tough because then you sometimes you run into situations is it far from here? you have a very dedicated mm. community oh yeah, uh, uh, Prakakwa village mm -hmm. that's where I used to um, live I feel like I saw a bunch of old sticks in the mud there Oh, did you? So, who who like, took uh, over? Where was I? Um, it's huh? like three, four, three now oh. instead of Bungie. Oh, uh, when was that? Halo so Wars? Is that when they switched? Halo Four. I think it was Halo Four. Okay. But your Rikas so, civilization hasn't changed in a thousand years. Run into that. Um, uh, this planet is But I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't. Time's to on basically on answer us. your question, I would say and are we I can't think of much. Aside I'm gonna be the from one who changes this place. Maybe I'll make it even more a studio goes on to do something else, so that franchise gets handed that off now, to somebody. But have you different. ever seen Zerard? Yeah. That's not really covered. Uh, unfortunately, right. I haven't. That's no, not it's really not. Like, but I've heard here it's the I most am advanced planet in the if galaxy. Someone said, "Hey, I'm gonna make oh, yeah. a Mario game." Take a look at this. Apparently, right. Zerard is covered with these things. Super Mario 64. With gloves? In my own style, like that doesn't Wear fly. That and your strength will go through the roof. No, it doesn't. Unless right. it's like, like a, a student-made project, like an homage. Right. Like you right. see, there was like the Chrono Trigger uh, 3D remake from huh? a few years back. Why? Oh, really? Uh, I missed that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it got hit with the season to this. If this you was get a chance, could you tell them all about the wonders uh -huh. of civilization for so me? Like, would you? 
I think the I I think the ideal is cool. I just don't I don't know glove. that there's anyone and any big company in the game industry that would do that. <gasps> mm -hmm. I think Jaster, you would be this could come in be handy. easier to see it from like a couple of people to get together. Mm. Yeah. And oh maybe man, that would be such a like, cool either way, idea. Got a split. You know, maybe the just ahead. Like, hey, we can finally uh, finish our mission. We're gonna make what? our own version Already? of this under other indie game, and then that indie developer is like, yeah, oh, yeah, do that. That would be funny. I wouldn't go near yeah. the houses like along that. the river if I were you. Can you imagine see, like a, a bland beer version of Zelda? Yeah. Like that. That would just be interesting. Or we're up the creek huh. without a paddle here. <laughs> Yeah, what would be some good smash ups there? Good smash ups. Indie smash ups, we'll call them. We'll make them happen. Oh boy. Um. Don't go running off just anywhere. Let me think. Yeah. Yeah. My, my mind immediately goes to Yacht Club. Let's go. Oh, sure. Hey, Shovel Knight. Uh, yeah, to give them some. You want to give Shovel Knight some? Wasting my time. Give them a shovel. Give them a shovel. Or, yeah, give Yacht Club game something. Would it be 3D or 2D? I'm trying to help you narrow it down. I'd like to see them do. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think. Seeing, I would like to see them do something totally different. Okay. Um, Come on, try me. See what else? Because like, someone I is such a cool homage to like so many different ways at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Shovel Knight is great. It's just it's not terribly original. Oh yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, now, would Shovel Knight be as good if it were? Say Castlevania 2. I mean, I know that's not the first game you think about when you think Shovel Knight, but right. they're both 2D games with uh, towns and stuff, if I remember correctly. <laughs> they do both have towns. <laughs> I know, I'm the, I'm the best at video games right now. Yeah. I got a power glove, by the way. Here they come. Yeah, you did. That's go oh, what? The fact that it's ripped from another game? Yeah, the power glove. I love the power glove. It's so bad. I, <laughs> I really wish that I got a trophy for hitting two enemies with the same enemy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're still in your throwing stuff. Yeah, I'm still in my throwing phase. That's how this game's gonna go. Also, if I have behind, okay? a power glove, why can't I open the stupid chest? Oh, they come. The key. yeah. Come on, try. It's like, alright, you need an earth key you to do this. Power, you this power glove is made for pushing. And that's uh, what it'll do. That's, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Power glove's gonna power all over you, or glove all over you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that would work. I got pretty far with that. I so yeah, I don't, I don't know if anyone really expected you to get that far with that. No so, congrats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Rogue Galaxy is, uh... This is a good game. Yeah, it's... It's good. I think it is. Jester, wait. <laughs> I wonder Much if... Like Dark Cloud, it's a good one. What yeah, no, it's, it's great. I just wonder if the camera work? could be better if it were made now. The power glove. Mm. Yeah, that just might work. Yeah. I, I Give bet it a shot, should. Jasper. <laughs> yeah, right? I <laughs> know. Uh, what was, um... I was just thinking about this recently, because I think there's a... I think there's a game coming out at some point this year that's like a remaster or something. And I was just thinking if it... if they might uh, make it better. Yeah. Of, Did it? What? What's it called? Just I came out, right? Uh, the uh, what is that game? Gravity Rush? Gravity? Yeah, it's coming out tonight. Okay, it comes out tonight. How does that work on PS4? A good chunk of that game used the Vita's touchscreen. Yeah. Or in like just the gyroscope stuff. And the gyroscope stuff, yeah. Yeah. 
So. So I personally am like there isn't a single excited fire fruit about anywhere. it. Yeah, yeah, I would like I to play really it. Care for that part. Like, I, oh, I, didn't I care see. For the, the Vita specific stuff, yeah. Uh, the camera specifically was like I didn't, I didn't like how the control felt. Because if I remember correctly, it relied a lot on like using the gyroscope and whatnot. Yes, it did. Here they come. Uh, so not having to do that. Here they like, come. You know, you know like not just not worrying about going or whatever. And maybe uh -huh. it's still there. Right, right. Well, people yeah. don't like that because that's one of the few Vita um, yes. first party games, right? Like and, that. And come on, the first, it's not the first like big Vita game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Not that there weren't others. Of okay, course. Uh, what came out before it? <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. That's a good choice. <laughs> So, when your character dies in battle, it does not uh, get experience for that battle. Right. That makes healing or resurrection potions a lot more important to buy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of crazy. And the hunter points are only good for ranking you up. Is that right? So I, can, I that they might maybe they come into play a little later on. Yeah, like I want to get a. Entirely sure. I want to get a a discount at the shop or something. Yeah. I think that would be useful if I if I show them my hunter card. Oh, did you? Oh, dude, episode two was like. full of mimics. Oh, I know. And they're so it's hard weird. at this going, level oh, in the yeah, game. It's, Mimics are, like, it was a funny thing, because, like, Mimics and Dark Cloud are nothing. Right. They're not a big deal, really. Mimics in this game are a whole nother ball game. Yeah, what is that? I didn't realize they were going to be so hard. Yeah. Level 5 loves the Mimics. Yeah. So I guess, I guess, uh, I was, saw someone tweet about this the other night. Apparently, in Dragon Quest Builders, there is a room type. Okay. And if you put, I think it's, uh, if you put, if it's just a room with three treasure chests in it, uh, it sometimes will just spawn a mimic. Really? Yeah. That's I've funny. See, I've not seen a mimic in that game. At all. Huh. Um, so I, I've, and I kind of like, I'm just kind of scared to build that room type because I don't want to invite a monster into my town. <laughs> 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 so... I'm gonna do some sphere gridding right now. Some revelation flow. Oh, sphere gridding. Revelation yeah. flow. Let, let the revelations flow. Dude, Kisala is. I don't know if you have Star Charm yet. It's super powerful. I think I do. Yeah. Really good. I'm at, uh. I'm at, like, the major boss of the area, I think. Of Jerica? Uh, yeah. Okay. The forest place, yeah. Drunken burst. I like this. Let's go with this. I like, I like that a lot of the special abilities aren't. I think I made. Maybe we said this in the first episode. I like that they're um, passive. Is that the term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like passive yeah. buffs. Yeah. They're upgrades. Yep. I like that too. It's just an alternative to, uh, it's you know, changing some numbers on a grid. Well, it's also more, it's more. I like them in when like they're in action in battle that they're passive. And so it's instead of like, yeah, the drum burst is just an attack. Uh huh. It's actually something that affects you for a like, duration of time. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Persistent. Sure. Is that a better term for that? I don't know. I thought I thought there passive isn't a was single like, fire fruit not, anywhere. Video games. Yeah. <laughs> Here they come! Come on, try it. 
I wish there were like secret combinations of throwing some enemies at other enemies. That's what I wish. TRPG? Yeah, Rogue Galaxy yeah. is a very famous TRPG where you play as Jaster Rogue this heat is so different from, roses. from a slave planet. Yeah. Going on an adventure. What is this S? Oh, there's a walking shop? Nice. What's up, native? Give me some stuff. Uh, oh, Sanchez fruit. Don't we? No. What do we need for the... We need something for the, uh, for the ship, right? Oh, um, yeah, man. Red I fruit? What it is. Some fuel that comes from a fruit? Yeah, but I think that's the key item that you're going to find later on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Dryken coffee beans coming soon. What the hell does that mean? That means it's coming soon. That's silly. Man, look at all these. This guy's got a lot of items he's carrying. <laughs> Considering he's wearing like a loincloth and a backpack. Yeah, you know. Shuriken de. Why is, why is that French? So that's... I don't know. It's, why would I, I use this? I feel those? like I've noticed... I've noticed that word used a lot, like D-E-U-X. Just use willingly, wherever. Why would I use Shuriken Du if all of its stats are worse, but it has more power? I don't, I'm not sure I fully understand the uh, the weapon system in this game. Seriously. Let me see. Let's check out his equipment. God, these menus are awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. For a game that's so good, the weapons are just not. Oh, Bolt Shuriken is even better. What the hell? Oh, it shocks people? Man, Curtis, why didn't you I'm tell hoping. me I have these great items? Oh, well, I thought I figured I'd let you find them for yourself. Uh, speaking, uh, speaking about the, the, just the menus and the, inv the inventory specifically for me. Um, is inventory is okay. I mean, you can sort it, I, right? Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that's something that's not going to drag down the game as we progress. Yeah, yes. overall. I found definitely inventory is something that can drastically impact like my experience with the game. The UX, oh, the like user inventory. experience. Yeah, the UX. Come yeah, on, because try me. I mean, especially like with the best for these Western games, really, um, don't like how their inventory systems are set up. That's and all how you the time, get it done. You're going to be dealing with your inventory a lot. Yeah. And so once you get oh, that, like, God mode. damn it. Come on, see if you can nope. take us. Mimic. God damn it. <laughs> oh, oh damn it. I don't remember what my All right, let's get this what my uh, plan of attack is with these. Plan of attack is to not, not, not open the chest. Not attack? So the next time you run into a treasure chest, aren't you to like, not open it? Oh, okay. I think, I swear, I want to, I haven't tested it yet, but I swear, like, that it makes, there's something on the front of it that's okay. different from a normal chest. I believe that. Maybe I'm wrong, but... So, I, I think I remember my strategy. It's use the star charm as many times as possible. Until Kasala runs out of AP. Just use Star Charm over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, use my gun until that runs out of using. <laughs> Those are my two 
strats for beating a, a mimic. Does he have anything that drunken burst? What does drunken burst do? Increases all allies' attack power. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, it's specifically um when you open the chest, there's like, there's like a little thing that kind of goes under um, the what? front of it. Just so something. It's like, it's, this is like a little good. like brown thing that kind of goes under it, but I swear is not on a normal <sighs> chest. Okay. And I think that might be your identifier. So you can tell if it's a if okay. it's a a mimic before you attack it. I think that's the case, but we'll have to find a normal chest until we get to be able to prove it. Damn it! Because I noticed Star that when I was playing last time. Oh, she's all out of AP. How do you feel about uh, characters saying the name of their ability when they cast it? Uh, I'm usually cool with it. Like, it, that sounds like a very Final Fantasy thing to me. It's very, like, anime-ish. Kind of yeah, it's, it's very anime-ish. Like, yeah, Dragon Ball. Exactly. Yep. Alright, so I have to resurrect her before I kill this thing, because I want her to get all the fat X. That's right. Fat <sighs> <laughs> Isn't that what people <laughs> usually say? Fat X? <laughs> I, wanna get, I want a game to have, like, fat experience. Oh, okay. So I'm getting a little stronger because that guy wasn't as terrifying as the first two mimics I saw. Yeah. Who like? This is getting. I, I hit a game over screen pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and swim because. Uh, do you do this? My strategy in games like this, where I see the map, is to explore everything but the destination. Okay, so you do that too? Is that like a common Maybe, thing? Yeah. I don't want to miss I think anything. Probably, I think that's probably pretty common. Yeah. Is it everyone's human paranoia we'll figure for a collection? Out once we find the village. We, yeah, you just don't we go. Yeah. Alright, let's get this over with. Do you think like part of that has to do with like we, you know, games called games are so expensive that we're scared to like. Our value? To miss it, yeah, like, we want to get every little thing out of it. Yeah, we're we're trying to squeeze. It's in economics. There's a there's a thing called sunk cost. Yeah. Where, um, like, okay, if you buy an apple and you eat two bites of it, then throw it out, it's the exact same economically speaking as buying an apple and eating all of it, because you paid the the same amount for that apple. It doesn't right. matter. That's a that's a it's what's called a sunk cost. Yeah. So I don't know. But but yeah. when you think about it, and you're like, but you missed all of that other the, like the rest of that apple is still there. Right. Like you missed out, right? Right, but it's not fine. It's not affecting you financially because you you already paid for. Sure. Oh whoa whoa QTE! I'm getting like a quick time event. Burning Strike? Yep. That's awesome. I love quick time events. Can I... I do sometimes. Does everyone have it? Oh, everyone I gets think... an Ancient yeah, Scroll thing. So. Yep. Nice. Alright, well... Do you, mainly play, do you mainly play as Jaster? Yeah. Alright, let me mainly play as Zegrim for a little while. I like Jaster, and I want to play as him, but... I feel like I did that the first time around. So oh, that's, sure. That's kind of boring. Changing it up. Yeah, I'll switch it up. So uh, That's probably good. I'm going to go ahead and see what Zagram's got to offer. I cannot figure out what buttons do what in this game. <laughs> like, at all. If, if you notice me going into the menu, then checking the uh, start screen, then checking the pause screen, it's because yeah. I have no clue how to change characters. I did that a lot with uh, with Dark Cloud. 
There'd be a lot of times I would go to because to We're go the creek your, without your a menu, paddle like your, your, your uh, like your menu and go to your inventory and save yeah. the game. You hit triangle to open the menu. Right. But to open um, here they come. Your armor battle. Okay. And so I would I would always like I would keep opening your armor battle. This is a waste yeah. of my time. Um, instead. And also I just want to say I'm totally right about that. I just so my. They, the way we're doing, like, a Your mimic theory? Yeah, yeah. I'm totally right. Okay. You, I would say probably around 30, 40 now. seconds ago, you opened a chest. Yes. And that chest was fine and, di and did not have the thing on the front. Okay. Um, so take note and try to, try to remember it next time you find a chest. Yeah. Because I'm not going to be able to warn you. I d well, I did look at it. I looked at that okay. chest and I didn't see anything underneath it like what you yeah. described, so I opened yeah. it. Well, what eventually you're gonna this? run into another mimic because they they're bombed everywhere. or what? <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm pr I'm like 99% confident in my theory now. Okay. Which is interesting that they would. Whoa. If that's the case, it's interesting that they would have that to like signify a mimic. What? Whoa. The thing underneath you it? Smell good. Yeah, like something that you could immediately tell. Good like, oh, woman, yeah, mimic. Good smell. Oh, yeah. yeah, but do mi I, th I feel oh, like mimics drop here. better items and have, and like, on in. a lot of, like, they give you a lot of X. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of fat X. Guys, a lot of fat X, weirdo. yeah. What? You guys are here too? You wait outside. What? What's going on? Are, is, is this guy luring Kasala into his hut? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and through the so, chamber. Ba bomb. Sweet. He's an odd duck, huh? Odd enough to get tossed out of the village anyway. I don't like <laughs> this voice not. acting. Nope, not me. <laughs> I left by choice. Kids tend to be around them old fashioned fogies. I go to all the trouble of inventing for them, and all they say is, no thanks. Inventing what? Bombs. This. To throw at the rocks. That's pretty funny. <sighs> what happened? Is he dead? Unbelievable. Just kidding, folks. Not funny. So not funny. Uh. Behold the power of my invention. I call it a bomb. It can blast even the hardest things to bits. Oh, yeah. Catch. <laughs> Put that invention of mine to good use now. Well, guess you guys better be on your way. I've got to take care of these wounds. See you later. Ow. Yeah, later. Oh, hey! You're going to Burkakwa Village, right? I've got a message for the Elder. Tell him Dario said, how long are you going to be set in your ways, you old loon? What this planet needs is progress. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got that? That's a good, good thumbs up. <laughs> Hope it all goes well. Have I saved yet? Yeah, I saved once. Oh, I'm not gonna save. Nah. I like to play it unsafe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put everything we've got into this. It takes a lot of time. Well, it doesn't take a lot of time to save, but. Here they come. Yeah, I'm playing these games, um, I kind of forget though. I feel like most games these days are automatic. Yeah, nowadays it's auto save. No, for the most part, yeah. The yeah, concept of saving is so different. Or like, the idea of like, yeah, you can save points. It's like, what? Yeah, isn't that, that weird? Yeah. That That's a huge like design a difference too, because uh, yeah. Like, Let's I'm playing through up. Mario RPG, and I'm playing through while cycling, and I usually cycle for, I don't know, about 30 minutes. It seems like the game is designed to have a save point every 30 minutes. 
Oh, weird. I think that's pretty common. Yeah, I mean, I mean Paper Mario, or it's not Paper Mario. It's Mario and Luigi's Paper Mario. It's pretty similar. Oh, that's... Like, pretty, that... you, you run into save points pretty consistently. Although, you can also... Well, okay, actually, they're not even save points anymore. They're, like, healing and restoring all of your HP and DP. Uh-huh. What a waste of time. How are you liking that camp? A little bit. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, they made it. They did. They, they did it. They made a good Mario so Luigi camp. So, where is this Bokakwa Village? Which oh, both in I one. Wasn't, yeah, yeah, it's uh, Mario, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. So it's uh, both Here of them. Come. Oh, it's yeah, Paper it's Mario. Cool. And the, yep. what's the other one? So do you know? Do you know what it's about? Then? No. Um. So Luigi. Uh, basically, he stumbles into a bookshelf and knocks over the book that is contained the, the Paper Mario world. Oh, what? And, and it unleashes all of the Paper Mario characters and villains into the Mario and Luigi world. That's awesome. So, so there's two, there's two Bowsers, two Peaches, two Marios. Oh my God. Toads. Like, imagine, like, you know, toads are typically kind of like scaredy cats. So yeah. Imagine paper toads in a 3D world. Oh, that's their great. Mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've got, like, there's, like, really just, like, the, the story is, you know, it is what it is, but it's the character interactions. Like, you have the scenes where Bowser and Paper Bowser are fighting over who's better. Uh huh. You've got, um, Peach and Paper Peach, uh, lamenting the fact that they are just the typical princess being rescued trope. Sure. Yeah, uh, so so they're both is, like teaming up together like what the hell's going on? Yep. And, you and too? There, yeah, me great, too. Yeah. There's a great scene early in the game when Bowser comes to kidnap Peach. Or both Bowsers come to kidnap both Peaches. Uh, and uh -huh. the castle's shaking. Uh, the castle's shaking, toads are running in terror, and both of them look at each other and they just get in like 3D Peach size and Paper Peach is like Oh, it's that time of the story again, huh? Uh, <laughs> that's that's good. I like that. Yeah. Um, Bowser Jr. and Paper Bowser Jr. are two lonely individuals that have finally found a friend in themselves. Oh, great. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's it's just it's fantastic. Yeah. Great writing. And what is the? Is it, it's an RPG. Yeah. Like yeah, Paper so Mario. You, I mean, have you played? Yeah. Yep, I played Paper Mario for Nintendo 64. That was what it came out for, right? Yeah, yeah, the first one, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's that and Mario and Luigi. If you played any of those games, it's, it's I have It's a turn-based. Okay. I mean, they're pretty similar to Paper Mario, where they're kind of an active turn-based battle system. Okay. Where you jump, or you jump on an enemy, and you have to hit the A button as you hit them to do like more jumps and to do more damage. Okay. Um, in the jungle. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much that. Like. So it's nothing like crazy inventive or anything. Well, I mean, it is pretty imaginative. It's but imaginative. It's also, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's, you know, it's uh, it's what they've been doing with those games, except uh, this is much better than the recent Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi game. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's on Wii U. 3DS. Ah, 3DS. I was gonna say, if it were on Wii U, it feels like seems like a game like that could just be on 3DS. You really think those Burkakwins will let us in? Um, Wii U. <laughs> you know. We used the Splatoon machine. <laughs> it's had a <laughs> it's had a rough patch for a bit. Yeah. I've got a good feeling. Let's hurry. But Rogue Galaxy. Oh yeah, Rogue Galaxy. Yep. Let me tell ya. What if what a game. What if they made Rogue Cloud? Oh. Or or Cloud Galaxy. Cloud Galaxy. Hey, or I I Dark did want to answer a question that you had. Okay. Um It's so human about the here. name Dark Cloud. Yeah. Uh so they do explain that name. Okay. Talk to me. Yep. Um so, or well, it's it's given like a brief mention, and, and you're like, oh, okay, that's what that's what's in the end. Here they come. Um, it was pretty close. Like, it was pretty close. It's basically like when you finally are ready to proceed, go like you take on the final area, and you're going to the dark castle, 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's like floating in the sky. There's a big dark cloud surrounding the castle, and it's like a force field. Okay. Protecting it from intruders. So it's oh, like hold on one second. The dark yep. Uh, I set my allies on step back for the mimic, and then they weren't doing anything. Okay. All right. So the cloud is is you know overtaking the castle. It's like the mist. Like the mist, yeah. Yeah, the you know Stephen King story. There isn't a single fire fruit right. anywhere. End movie. Okay, and then they're like, "This is the dark cloud you've been playing all game." This is, yeah, you, you are the dark cloud. You're the dark cloud. Bastards. How do I burning chip? Oh, I just figured it out. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Oh, it shows it on the bottom. That's how you get it done. I thought it showed the only in the square, so I was like, man, that doesn't give me much time at all. You really think those Burkakwins will let us in? Just not, not the best. Yeah. Here they come! Come on, try me. You actually have to pick these up, huh? They're not too magnetized. Curtis, is you still with me? Yeah, you're talking about like the little things on the ground. Like the Burning chips. Orbs. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that because it was, um... Don't ever try to show off in front of me, you It feels like there's a lot of games where you have that stuff that you can collect and you want it to just... To you. Uh -huh. you yeah, but a lot of games uh, like, allow you to like upgrade. Yeah, well, oh. yeah, I was gonna say like in, in the later game, there's actually yeah. a thing that you can you can buy and turn on that magnetizes all of the all of the little stuff that you can get. Yeah, and in Diablo 3 you can make uh, <laughs> you can make health orbs. Oh shoot! I oh, know it wasn't a piranha. It's a battle as I was opening up the chest. Thank goodness. Alright. If I do get a... I kind of want to get a, a Mimic so that I can Burning burning Ranger him. Alright, let's see. Let's see. What, I'm looking for a black slab underneath it. Is that right? Is that what you said? That might be underneath it? It's, it's more like brown. Why did they even bother jumping us? So, my microphone cuts out sometimes. Yeah. Do, do you hear that? I didn't hear you for a couple seconds. Okay. Yeah. That's a pain. Because this is Bluetooth. It's not like some brand new technology. And it's a Sony product. So the fact that I've had this trouble in the past where like this headset doesn't work with the PlayStation 4. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look, what? you want to know about the truth about Mimic Chess? Yeah. Yes. Oh, they have like, oh, I see. They have a little brown keyhole thing underneath them. Uh-huh. Well, here's the thing about that brown keyhole thing. I wonder yeah. how far Apparently, that is very similar to what's on the chest that needs the earth key to open. Oh, it is, yeah. Because I'm looking at this yeah. and I need, it. I need an earth key. Yeah, so apparently mimics look very similar. But someone else was saying that if you go to the here. first person view, you can see if you can see like a little red thing. Here they come, eye bastards. Oh. Well, that's a, yeah. So that's wrong with my Interesting. I'm, I'll try that. So I guess like I was half right about the, the, the little brown thing. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. So that yeah. 
means that that either signifies a mimic or a chest that you need a key to open. <laughs> yeah. So I'll see no mimics until I have the Earth Key. Yeah, when I'll on, see all of them. Do you know if this game scales uh, the characters? Like, I clearly have to come back to this planet to open the chest. Me, I don't think it scales monster levels. I could be wrong. That's a huge spring. What what, what did... Here they come. Finish in 30 Bastards. seconds with Jaster alone. An interesting challenge. Here they come. Uh -oh. Oh, whoa. Whew. All right, I'm just going to use Desert Wind. How about that? Yes, it does. So, I click in the left analog stick to change characters, but I have to use the directional button to actually operate that menu. What is that all about? Here they come, bastards. Man, I'm on a shuriken spree. guys were no challenge at all. Oh, oh, pretty interesting. Did you think of this strat like where you can get everyone's burning ranger mode? This route? Bad choice. And then use them all in, in one battle? Oh, yeah. You thought of that? Well, no, it just, it feels like very similar to what I, I do in some RPGs where it's like, okay, I'll just... I'll make sure that everyone has their main thing. Really think those Burkakwins will let us in? Okay. Yeah, I thought I was the first person to think of that crazy idea. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'll take you just on. killing my dreams. Here they come. I'll just go That's back to throwing, throwing things. Oh, they do call me a dream. Yeah. For that reason. Yo, this off, you idiots. This hacker is so grumpy. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> Don't ever try to show off in front of me, you damn beast. Like he calls them damn beasts and Don't go running off just anywhere. And all that stuff. All right, I'll probably get to the next event and then we might call it. Come on, try me. Here they come. What are you waiting for? It's a good victory th theme. Victory How are we supposed to deal important. with this? Super you important. Make sure yours is good. Popping up like crazy. A lot. Yeah. This route, bad choice. Come on, try me. Yo, piss off, you idiot. Piss off, you idiot. That's <laughs> so grumpy. Let's just leave it at that for now. What are some other pirate games? Here they come. Uh, coming out on February. Really? For PlayStation? Yep. That's the 
end of that. Pixel From the Terraria pirates. people. Yep. Oh, cool. I like Terraria. Yep. I'm looking first person. I don't see anything. Okay. Oh, it's a mimic. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. You better alert that person that he's an idiot. Oh, tell him. I'm oh, damn it. And I screwed up the burning ranger mode. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Good. Damn it. What does Perry do? Alright, well, I guess it is funny that they made the mimic chest look almost identical to the Earth Sea chest. Yeah. Well, whoop. That was really fast. Holy crap. And my action gauge is low, so I couldn't use an item, and I died. Game over. That's really disappointing. Yep. The mimic was in mid attack when I went to the the item menu. Oh man, that sucks. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that the game is difficult, but... Yeah. When was your last save? You know, I like to save dangerously, Curtis. <laughs> Eric, I, wa I warned you. <laughs> you warned me about saving dangerously? <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> yep. Don't drink and save. Or I wait. Thought, I oh, thought well. I was getting so <laughs> much better. Yeah. It's so much more powerful. No, I, I don't think it's that, that long ago. It's that overconfidence that ruins us all. Do you remember this? I forgot about this, but this, I think it's great. That it tells you the story up to your loading yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So great. I like that. It's what I really liked about um, Dark Wars 8 is another game that has that, where uh, it actually, you can talk to the characters. Living in the jungle. I wonder what it's like. Party, and they'll like, remind you of what's happening. Oh, okay. Not while it's loading, yeah. though. That's, no, no, like... That text is to mask the loading screen, specifically. Well, yeah, it's a good, it's a good uh, loading screen. I've had enough. Uh, masking. Out of my way. Uh, and, and during the game, you've got your little, like, what are you waiting for? Uh-huh. And they each have, like, different things to say, and they, they kind of... Alright, so, yeah, my save point was not too long ago at all. I'm gonna go kill this mimic and then maybe call it there. Cause it's been about an hour, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. How are we supposed to deal with this? Yeah, I don't, uh... Here they come. Bastards. Okay. Yeah. What a waste of time. This route, bad choice. This route, bad choice. Thanks, Kasala. Oh, this heat is so different from Rosa's. Uh, I Here really don't need another. What's up? <laughs> it's so great to be other. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What, what are their names? Steve and Johnny? Steve and, uh, Steve and Johnny. Steve and Johnny and Bill? Steve and, um, Steve and something. Alright, let's get this over with. Oh, crap, what is his name? Steve and, um, Nice. I'm burning late. Yes, I did it. Well, give me a break. These guys are too strong. What, you wanna know what the other dude's name is? Yeah, I can't remember his name. Simon. Okay. Simon, yeah. 
I was gonna check his revelation flow <laughs> while I'm being destroyed by this this uh, mimic. All right. Okay, the team needs to step back. Why? Hey, you guys better be God damn it. I really don't like that. Like, they just, they step back and then they sit there. Instead of actively avoiding the enemy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, man. So I tried pulling up some trivia for Sorry, uh, Rogue Galaxy here. Okay. Um, I've only for found me one. To, for me? Well, and it's, and it's one we already know. But, uh, or more facts, which is a fun fact about Rogue Galaxy. Okay. It's one we already know, but I think it's funny um, how it is phrased. Because it's not the way that I would phrase this. But uh, Jester Rogue is voiced by Will Friedel. Yeah. A voice actor who is known for his superhero. What? He plays Terry in Batman Beyond, and as well as Lion-O from Thundercats. Wait, no. The old Thundercats, <laughs> or like a reboot? <laughs> I don't, I, I, it doesn't specify. Eric Matthews from Boy Meets World was Lion-O? <laughs> I, maybe? I mean, Batman Beyond, yes, that makes sense. Mm. I can hear his voice on Batman Beyond's voice. But like, what was that? Why now, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh man, I almost uh -oh. had him. This is big, Curtis. Is What's it? with you? Yep, the big reveal. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? This kid Take is Pokemon easy, hunting. Uh, I mean, I'm bug just hunting. I'm collecting bugs. That's all. Bugs? But this place is crawling with beasts. Isn't it dangerous? I don't mind. I'm well, gonna catch a in the big one for the Insectron tournament. Okay, okay. That's why I came to Jerica. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be from Zerard by any chance? Yep. It sure was tough saving up money for the trip. Funerals. I'm gonna catch a Good great Insector here on Jerica and win the Insectron tournament that. for sure this time. So, what's your rank, kid? I'm still a D. Ah, uh, then Insectors from Jerica should be fine. You sure seem to know a lot about it, mister. <laughs> What's this Insectron thing? An Insector fighting competition takes place on Zerard. I've heard the prizes are pretty fancy these days, so it's gaining popularity. But I never thought a squirt like this would be involved. I'm not a squirt. What about you, mister? Are you a beginner? Me? Uh... First I've heard of it, actually. What? Oh, Desert really? Claw would know well, what Insectrons in case, are. I tell you what, mm -hmm. <laughs> why don't I give you this? It's my old one. Oh. Oh. I like when you, when you see the number one next to an item, you know that you're going to be upgrading it throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Rearing Cage 1. That's awesome. I get to an rear some cage? stuff in this it's game. A trap. <laughs> you put bait inside and set it out where bugs like to go. I, Wait a while. I now I remember. Bug inside when you come back. Okay. If lucky. But they I forgot that you, you actually have to actively watch. catch the bugs. I'll give you some of this special yeah. food too. Here. I don't know if I like that or dislike that. Well, we'll find out in future installments of, of this series. There's huh? all kinds You're of right, traps yeah. and baits. You gotta think about all that and where to put the trap. This kid, I feel like, he just insector. looks like someone who came from, like, well, good Beyblade luck, or Bakugan. See you at the Insectron yeah, he does. tournament someday. Bye! What's with that self-satisfied mug? He ain't all that. Wow, he ain't all that? Thanks, Looks fun, Vagram. doesn't it, Chester? He ain't all that. A lot of guys get too wound up in the insectron. But you're seeing what I mean about lives. Uh, Just take it easy Jester. as all. And Desert Claw? Like, yeah. Yeah, about him, like... They clear, like, they had to have noticed. Or you would think that they would notice that he, like, doesn't know anything. Okay. 
Okay. Here's a question. Do you yeah. think you could... I mean, I'm going to do this because I, I really liked it the first time I did. Do you think you could play the entire game without caring about insectors? I'm sure you could. How do I get battle feed? Feed formula? Oh, I get to mate two insectors? Uh-oh. <laughs> Here's some iffy stuff going on. Make sure that they're both adult and one is male and one is female. Oh no. Otherwise they cannot mate. Hmm. Hmm, dark, dark cloud galaxy of the rogues. Something about this planet I just don't like. Alright, do I want to go trigger this event? There's no save point, so I guess Don't not. Lag behind. Oh, oh, there is a save point. Damn it, no, I triggered it. <laughs> <laughs> it switches want? to Jaster, Only walking in front. Are allowed beyond this point. Yep. What if, what if you could Please, uh, actually have, like, play as a different character? Not our problem. Now go home or get hurt. Uh, another another piece of friendly As advice. a different character, like... Don't go near the spring past here. Especially not today. And what if that changed the game? Like, if I... If I approached them as Zegrim... I would be playing <laughs> a different game. And all of his grumpiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be a very different game. Living in the jungle. I wonder what it's like. save point right in front of you and you can't get to it. Yeah, that that was really disappointing. I'm like <laughs> I'm ready to wrap up and save point is Here right there. Bastards. How the what's of how'd he die? Sorry. Yeah, you really have to actively collect these, those chips, because I got zero in that battle. Which I don't think works well with the lock-on. Yeah, hopefully that's something that we can this get is like getting out of hand. towards you. Yeah. Changing the team strategy because of the mimic, and that screws up my next fight. Let's just leave it at that for now. There isn't a single fire fruit anywhere. God, I'm getting a lot of battle. Come on, try Yeah, seriously. Village. You think I'm gonna go 
gonna be the last one. So I'll end with a burning strike. On this dog. Does everyone's burning strike look? Why did they even bother jumping us? I would, I would think so. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, come on. How are we supposed to deal with this? All right. Well, let's save here. Actually, I'll exchange points first, but I don't have any points to display. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for st sticking with me, Curtis. Uh, we will have several many episodes of Rogue Galaxy, the PS2 classic on PS4. If you want to check yeah. out some of the other things we're doing, go to youtube.com slash PSN stores. We've been uploading a whole lot, a whole lot of content there. Uh, you could also check us out at patreon.com slash PSN stores. That's where you can pledge your support, which gives us some monetary motivation for doing all the stuff that we do. And, uh, you know, you can also obviously check us out at our home, which is psnstores.com. Thanks for tuning in. Great. We'll see you next time, Curtis. See you next time. And I'm saving, and I don't feel like ending share play while I'm saving, so I'll save, and then I'll end the broadcast. Later on.